You don't want to keep reminding the child of the bad news. You say it once, you make sure you understand, and you keep thinking positive moving forward. I don't want to every time tell the child, oh, by the way, you know, remember you have leukemia. I don't want to say that. I'm just going to say you're doing good. Your white count is good today. Your platelets are good. Well, if they're not good, that's what we're going to do. We're going to transfuse you. You're doing fantastic. So you got to keep that positive attitude. And you encourage the family to really use the word trust quite a bit. You got to trust your God. Prayers are important. You got to trust your treating team. That's important. And you got to trust each other. Because I've seen it over the years. If there is no trusty relation between the actual family members, mom, dad, in-laws or what have you, that really creates an unbearable environment for the child. And I think it's very important that they are together, that they trust each other, and then they're working together with the child. And that kind of makes that journey um, a, a little better.